on behalf of iaf free and gft i extend a warm welcome to all of you iaft has been conducting this training program for the its officers since 1990s over the years the curriculum of its training has evolved in sync with the changes globally apart from the training on exam procedures and documentations the curriculum has now unique features of visits to un bodies ngos interaction with foreign african delegations and new zealand delegations training from world trade institutes for the first time the module on trade and economic diplomacy was introduced for this batch which was conducted at foreign service institute along with the ifs batch i would now like to call upon shri prasoon jha to share his experience for this 9 months training at iift allows us to get a honorable president, president of india the everyday project dignitary by citizens and enterprises and engaged in foreign trade it is indeed a matter of great honor and privilege for us to have gathered here on this solemn occasion graced by the benevolent presence of the first citizen of india for many of us it was truly a dream that became a reality when we joined the indian trade service and we now have a remarkable opportunity to contribute to the safeguarding and promotion of india's foreign trade but to serve with distinction one must construct a foundation of knowledge and expertise and combine it with values of humility honesty integrity and accountability we are proud to put across the efforts made by indian institute of foreign trade deemed university under department of commerce towards inculcate, inculcating these qualities and values through 9 months of professional training the institute not only trained us as managers and administrators to excel at technical aspects of trade but also molded molded us as empathetic facilitators to provide services to the people this has been possible due to the undergoing rigorous training at iift entailing both academic aspects and practical attachments in order to prepare us adequately for our roles and responsibilities ahead an in-depth curriculum has been customized for the probationers a typical day at iift would consist of lectures case studies presentations group discussions and interactions with guest speakers of national and international level both from the government and the industry sessions at the institute are interspersed with field visits interactions interactions with exporters msmes various export promotion organizations commodity boards etc this allows us to get a first hand experience of the everyday problems faced by citizens and enterprises engaged in foreign trade adarniya rashtrapati ji upasthit ganmanya atithi gan tatha bhartiya vyapar seva ke prashikshi अधिकारी गणों की ओर से आपको सादर नमन मान्यवर आज यहाँ राष्ट्रपति भवन के भव्य प्रांगण में आपके समक्ष उपस्थित होकर हम सभी गौरवान्वित तथा उत्साहित हैं प्रशिक्षण की अंतिम घड़ियों में आपका असीम अनुभव तथा प्रेरणादायी व्यक्तित्व व वक्तव्य निश्चित रूप से हमारे व्यावसायिक तथा व्यक्तिगत जीवन में निरंतर उन्नति की आधारशिला रखेगा महोदय जैसा कि आपको विदित है भारतीय व्यापार सेवा का गठन सन 1977 में किया गया और यदि वर्तमान में इस सेवा का ब्रह्म वाक्य व्यापार उन्नति मूल है अर्थात व्यापार उन्नति का मूल है कहा जाए तो कोई अतिशोक्ति नहीं होगी श्रीमान वाणिज्य मंत्रालय विदेश व्यापार महानिदेशालय तथा व्यापार सेवा के समस्त अधिकारीगण अपने अंतर मन में इसी ब्रह्म वाक्य को केंद्र बिंदु मानकर भारतीय व्यापार की दिशा तथा दशा दोनों की सकारात्मक उन्नति हेतु निरंतर प्रयत्नशील हैं महोदय वर्तमान में वैश्विक परिदृश्य व्यापारिक व आर्थिक हितों से संचालित है तथा विश्व के सभी राष्ट्र आर्थिक आवश्यकताओं के आधार पर अन्य राष्ट्रों से आपसी संबंधों को पुनः परिभाषित कर रहे हैं इस संदर्भ में भारत भी अपने व्यापारिक आर्थिक हितों व सामाजिक कल्याण के उद्देश्य से भली भांति परिचित है तथा हमारी विदेश व्यापार नीति का निर्माण इसी दृष्टिकोण को केंद्र में रखकर किया जाता रहा है श्रद्धे राष्ट्रपति जी राष्ट्रकवि रामधारी सिंह दिनकर ने कहा है क्षमा शोभती उस भुजंग को जिसके पास गरल हो उसको क्या जो दंतहीन विष रहित विनीत सरल हो राष्ट्रकवि दिनकर की रचना भारत को वैश्विक महाशक्ति बनाने के उद्देश्य को ध्यान में रखकर रची गई है जहां उनके सम्मुख निश्चित ही प्राचीन भारत का वैभवशाली अतीत रहा होगा जब भारत विश्व में व्यापारिक महाशक्ति महाशक्ति था जिसका उल्लेख स्वयं प्लीनी ने यह रोष व्यक्त करते हुए कहा है कि रोम का सारा स्वर्ण 
भारत को चला जाता है तथा वर्तमान में इन वाक्यों की प्रासंगिकता को व्यापारिक महाशक्ति के रूप में देखा जा सकता है आई एम इंडीड हैप्पी टू हैव दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी ऑफ वेलकमिंग यू टू राष्ट्रपति भवन टूडे एग्रीकल्चर इज कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग नो मोर देन फोर्टीन टू फिफ्टीन परसेंट manufacturing and mining sector are contributing about 40% do you want more than the new manufacturing policy has indicated that its contribution at least should be manufacturing sector alone 25% and mining taken together it should be around 50 51% but another sector has emerged service sector service sector is contributing substantially to the indian gdp it is getting reflected in also in our revenue collections at one point of time income tax was the highest taxation more than often i speak to the students who come here on appropriate occasion that india's finance minister in independent india when he presented his first budget his first budget was of just 193 crores of rupees of that uh, uh, 197 crores of rupees 26 crores of rupees were deficit 171 crores were total revenue 116 crores income tax act 50 crores customs duty and there were some small duty on imported alcohol which was introduced during the war period taken together revenue was 171 crores expenditure was 197 crores deficit was 26 crores and the budget presented in last july are of 17 lakh crores of rupees revenue itself is more than 12 lakh crores of rupees the service tax which is now competing with customs duty and central excise the short point which i am trying to drive at that as economy does not remain static it has its own dynamism our policies should contribute to help that dynamism so that indian economy grow i welcome you once again you will be dealing with a very important segment of our indian economy as trade policy your job will not be so much of regulator but that of facilitator don't be overwhelmed when we are objecting to trade facilitation in the wto debate it is not <laughs> that in principle we do not want trade facilitation we want very much but we want to use it as a leverage to achieve certain objectives which every country does and there is nothing <coughs> new we need but as trade negotiators as trade facilitators you will be able to give new dynamism new impetus to our economic requirement i wish you all success and very bright prospective career in the contribution to the nation building thank you ladies and gentlemen jai hind we are really grateful to honorable president of india for sparing his valuable time and for his inspiring words uh, its as you said they have a uh, right earlier it was chief controller of import and exports but now it is a foreign trade development so for trade development regulation so their role has also undergone a change like you said sir and uh, i am sure with the kind of inspiring words and message you have given they will act 
as and develop themselves as very good trade facilitators, trade negotiators. And this is a moment to cherish. This is an occasion to cherish. And we'll all thank you heartily for the same. And I would request that uh, all my colleagues in the department, all my ITS probationers, they try to live up to the words and the message and the hopes our Honorable President has invested in you. And we assure you, sir, that we will do our level best to live up to your expectations. Thank you so much. Once again, Jai Hind.